12 News is everything Arizona. We're taking you everywhere from A to Z. All this week, we've been exploring all the amazing things that Mesa has to offer. That's right, and today we're turning back the clock by visiting the largest 3D advertising museum in Mesa, a place you can't visit in person, so we're taking you on a personal tour with the collector himself, Michael Pollock. Hey guys, we're here at the Pollock Advertising Museum. You said more than 12,000 square feet of advertising collectibles. I'm here with Michael himself. What got you started in all this collecting? When I was a kid, I used to buy these beer signs on a Saturday at the flea market for 10 bucks, fix them up, renovate them on Saturday night, and then I'd go sell them on Sundays to the antique stores for 100 bucks. That hobby has morphed into what the Guinness Book of World Records awarded the largest collection of advertising statues. Here are some of the fan favorites. What are we looking at behind us? These are all vintage lunch boxes, and some people may not be willing to admit that they <laughs> recognize some of them because of the vintage of them. Fess up, we know how old you are. <laughs> and on the total opposite end of the spectrum, the beer taps. Take a look at all those, how many do you have? You know, I think we have somewhere between 12 and 15 of them. This is a very special part of the museum because these are the Behringer collectibles and Michael tell us a little bit about what makes these pieces special. Every one of them was produced for a jewelry store. You would come by and see the most recent one because they had such animation and they were attention getters but then ones that are so important like Moonshot from 1957 but the amazing part was as we all know we didn't even get to the moon until the 1960s. How much is the most expensive? You can find pieces as low as, you know, $10, whatever. And then, of course, you get to a certain level when, you know, people from all over the world happen to want that piece. You can spend um, 100000 plus on a piece. Okay, we're taking a step in a different direction with the Buster Brown shoes. You said they had to trick the kids to get them into the store. And how did they do that? This is actually a balloon blower. There's a helium tank here and this they would put the balloon on and the kids would be like, sure, we want to go get shoes. So obviously uh, we're in the television business, but uh, the Crosley radio, very popular. And this little old lady was selling those way back when. She was. That piece we know for a fact is from 1929 because we found the original flyer when she was for sale um, for $14. Last but not least, the Bosch man who was essentially buried alive. It's kind of a crazy story. We're going to let Michael tell it here. In the bottom of this building of rubble, there was a coffin. In one of the coffins, there was this guy. And so he's um, risen up and he's here today with us. We won't rain on your parade, but we are done toying around. 12 News is everything, Arizona, and we're taking you everywhere from A to Z. From the Pollock Advertising Museum, I'm Rachel Cole. And the lunch boxes are actually something you can check out at the Pollock Theater, which is over in Tempe. So while you can't visit the museum, you can see some of the collectibles. Very cool place. Really cool, really cool.